morning. Uh, it is December 12th and we are headed to Cottonwood. We're staying at a state park this time, so should be easy peasy. Anyway, it is triple star day at Starbucks, so let's get some coffee. All right, thank you. I can't get you pup cups. They make your beard too sticky and you're on a diet. All right, thank you. All right, you too. this bucket of treats they brought Gunther. There's rolls of roast beef and salmon. You scored, bud. Thank you. Mm. Sorry, I'm so far away. How can I help you? Um, I have a camping reservation for tonight. Like? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank um, you. Quail Loop is the third ride. It's clearly marked. Okay. Quail Loop, and that's for your mirror. All right. And we're having a freeze warning tonight, so you don't need to worry about that because you're not hooking anything up. Nope, just electricity. All right, you're all set. Thank <laughs> all right. you so much. All right, thank you. Bye -bye. This uh, site has electricity since it's an RV site technically. So I brought this adapter so that I can plug in my <clears throat> extension cord. But I just opened up the box and it looks like there's already a 110 power in here or household power. I guess I will test it on a low risk item. All right, so there are some breakers here and I think this is the 20 amp one, so let's find out. All right, so I would not be incredibly upset if the waffle iron blew up, because it was like 10 bucks. So we're gonna see what happens. I think we have power. Yep, that is illuminated. We have power. Yep, there's heat coming out of there. Sweet. Well, I didn't need this after all, but it's still probably good to carry. Looks like we've got a trail right here. I think it might go to the river. We'll definitely explore that. There's also another trail right here. I'm so paranoid about bike theft. Found another purpose for the uh, step rail. 
bike security. Checking out the facilities. It looks like they have a wash up station over here. It's nice. A little library. That's neat. Let's see what we got in here. Oh. How cute is this? Looks like you're gonna have to wait outside. Ooh, showers. Okay. I think I caught one. Hi, friends. those weird dogs, Gunther? Maybe? Yes, that's how it should be. She won't eat in bed. That's a new one. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So this is a terrier, isn't it? Uh, he's a dachshund. Oh, he's a dachshund. It's going to be freezing tonight. I know. <laughs> so be ready. I am ready. I brought my heater. I brought my electric blanket. We're going to... Perfect. Yeah, you're going to want that. Yeah. Well, I'll let you get back to your dinner. You sure? Oh. Hey, what's, what's your girl's name? Maddie. Maddie. And what's yours? What's yours? This is Gunther. <laughs> Thanks. All right, let's check this out.
would appear that my neighbors have gone in for the night. It's wonderful. By the way, upgraded the camp slippers. I found these on Amazon. Super warm. Big traction on the bottom. So, big fan. All right, so hear me out. <laughs> I saw, of course, a reel that calls this Christmas in a cup. And basically, it's warm Dr. Pepper with a orange liqueur in it. Sounds crazy, who likes hot soda? But back in the day, I guess in like the 60s, it was a whole thing to heat up your Dr. Pepper, put a lemon slice in it, and sip that. Now, if you think about it, Dr. Pepper's got the 23, 23 flavors? 23 flavors. I looked it up and some of them include like orange peel and amaretto and I don't know, clove. There's definitely holiday spice going on in there. So it doesn't sound too crazy when you think about it like that. I just wanted to capture this angle. It was totally accidental, but <laughs> anyway. All right, so yes, 23 flavors, many of which are seasonal. So we're gonna heat this up. Oh my. There we go. Hot Dr. Pepper. It's still fizzy. All right, now I don't have triple sec, but this is Grand Marnier, so I think it would work with any orange liqueur. Well, that was a big splash. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Okay. <laughs> it's actually quite delicious. <laughs> it's like sweet and spicy and citrusy. It's it's really tasty. I hate that I love this. It is pretty sweet. I kind of think a little bit of um, maybe rye would balance it out a little bit, but this is highly drinkable. Huh. So yeah, it's, it's like six something in the evening. I actually stayed by the fire after dark, fridge just kicked on. <laughs> I decided that I am done. So this campground has showers. So I am gonna take my little tote and my jam jams and I'm gonna go take a nice hot shower. And Gunther is gonna stay here on the nice heated blanket. Well, that was nice. <laughs> nice hot shower. Nobody was in there, I think. I don't know, everybody's morning showers beats me, but it was nice. So I'm back and we're locked in. Um, one thing you may notice missing is I forgot some of the window covers. <laughs> so we don't have the hatch and we don't have the rear passenger window and we don't have the rear driver's side window. We're lacking a little in privacy and insulation. Probably picked the wrong time for that. It's gonna be 31 tonight. I do have a dark tint, so I'm not super worried about the privacy thing. It's more the cold insulation that I'm concerned about. I'll show you what I've got going on. This is my hoodie. This is a fleecy hoodie that I have just sort of rigged up there. <laughs> Just because I have neighbors on that side. Also, these are my clothes and I just kind of have them jammed in here more for, I get a draft sometimes from the store. And then, see behind Gunther, that pillow is actually not a pillow. That is my sleeping bag. So if I need it, I will pull it out. But right now, um, I often get a draft from under the tailgate. So that is to keep the draft out at this end. Also, you've probably seen the heater right here. This is a 
uh, electric space heater and this usually lives under my desk when I'm working at home. I figure I'll crank that up maybe um, in the morning at its coldest time. Also, also, all this floor space. And that is because I am working on a yet another <laughs> kitchen project and that is that little ammo can there. So that should be everything I need for coffee in the morning. I still have some extra stuff in, and I have the mini kitchen box, but it's in the passenger seat up front. Anyhow, I think I am going to uh, start up a movie and we're gonna relax. All right, one more thing, which I meant to show you during daytime. Um, so it's probably hard to see now that it's night and these are black, but these are um, sofa arm organizers so it's a little tray where you can set your drink and then they have these little pockets where you put your remotes basically and I actually meant to just buy one um accidentally ordered two uh but it actually worked out because my intent was to replace this little nightstand thing which I made and I just wanted to put one of these on top of the folding rear seat but the angle is too steep so these were like this and just not working but it actually works out perfectly on top of my little nightstand thing and two actually fit perfectly side by side and then the little pockets uh i had my watch charger cord in this and this is another charging cord and i've got the one for the laptop over here i got these from timu I think they're six bucks a piece. You can also get them on, my, on Amazon, but they're a little bit more. Uh, also, of course, this little back of the headrest team organizer I'm still using. I've got my water up there and I brought in the butane just to keep it warm tonight. All right, now that I have coffee, I can get breakfast started. One thing that my mom used to make me when I was little was egg custard. And, you know, I have a sweet tooth, so it was a good way to get me a kind of protein-rich breakfast. Um, and it was cheap. So we had baked egg custard. But um, 
I am going to steam it. The thing is, if I steam it, I have to get it off the bottom. And I did find in this kettle, you can use a canning ring to lift it up. Um, usually with this jar, I use a medium sized canning ring. This is a, a wide mouth. So I am planning on getting an alcohol stove at some point, a little alcohol burner. And this is the rack for an alcohol burner. Intersect like that. And I found one that's about three and a half inches. So it fits perfectly in this kettle. I'll pop it in there like that. Put our little in here. I meant to grab my little tongs, but I think I'm going to put on maybe eat mode. And I have no idea how long this is going to take. I'm getting steamy in here. All right, 10 minute check-in. Let's see how we're doing. Ah, wow. Oh my gosh, it really. <sighs> I hope that's not water in there. It might be water. Oh, geez. I mean, it's solidifying though. I think it's steam that's come back down. I have seen that people cover the lid in uh, fabric so that it doesn't do that, so. All right, I think it's been about 20 minutes total. So let's cut it off. Let's see, oh, so poofy. You don't get that with baked custard. <laughs> All right, let's see what the verdict is. Bouncy. Let's see, is it done in the middle? Ooh, it does appear to be done all the way through. So let's take a little scoop here. Oh, it's so hot. So this is uh, one egg, which is about a quarter cup, and then equal amount of milk, so a quarter cup of uh, whole milk, a tablespoon of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, and a good shake of cinnamon. So, ta-da! Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That brings me back. Very fluffy. Mmm. I'm sure you could also do a savory version if, uh, if you're a savory person. So instead of sugar, um, just like a dash of salt, pepper, you know, whatever you like, some spices. But I am definitely a sweet breakfast person. Also, since we have this hot water, um, I was thinking you could totally use it to make tea. Like, why waste hot water? But um, I still have coffee I'm working on. You ready to go outside, bud? Planes already. I don't know, it's chilly out here. Check this out. This is a devil's claw. And these are the pods. See the outer husk coming off of it, but then it gives it a seed pod. It'll look like this. Who are you, friends? Oh, the hickey ditch. Like a irrigation canal.
pretty. Still in my slippers, by the way. <laughs> so I had a clever plan to preheat the ingredients for brunch with the good old 12 volt lunchbox, except I brought the wrong cord. I just had the regular wall cord, so I can still do it, it just won't be as energy efficient. So that's my bozo mistake. So since Gunther had some of his beefy treats this morning, he's only getting a half portion of his breakfast. He also gets a liver supplement. And in case you saw um, my Instagram post about uh, his health, he now also is on a um, heart medication. I'm not sure if Gunther's going to be with me the next trip. Um, he is having surgery next week to remove uh, his bladder stones. So depending on how his healing goes, I know he may be staying home. This is a mushroom stuffing that Ames made. She smoked a turkey. Um, and away we go. While that's cooking, I am going to start breaking down camp. So loading the bike in this time was much easier than when we left the house. Uh, the key is to go wheels first and um, let the front tire roll and it just goes right in. You want a little bit of everything. Yeah, we got the turkey, stuffing, that jam, mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh, this is a real pain, but so worth it. Mm-mm-mm. All right, it's like 11.30, so half an hour ahead of checkout time, and we are loaded up and ready to go home. Uh, I am so glad we had electricity. I heard uh, our neighbor say that when he got up this morning to go fishing, it was 20. We were all warm and toasty. Anyway, we're going to hit the road.